In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert fractions into decimals using long division. We're going to focus on proper fractions in this video. The definition of a proper fraction is a fraction that has a numerator that is less than its denominator. Proper fractions represent a piece of a whole, or a number less than one, so we would expect our decimal number to be less than one also. Let's look at these four problems here. I'm going to walk you through how to set each one up and calculate the decimal using long division. Example 1. Convert 3 fourths into a decimal. The first step in converting fractions to decimals is to set your problem up properly. We will start by dividing our numerator by our denominator, so we set the problem up like this. 4 is what they call the divisor, and 3 is called the dividend in a long division problem. We know that 4 will not go into 3, so we start by adding a 0 to the right of our 3. Next, we need to add a decimal after our 3 before that 0. This will extend our dividend into a number that we can start to divide. So basically, it says 3.0, but you're going to look at it as being 30. We place the same decimal up top above our decimal here, where our answer goes. Now, we can start with 4 goes into 30 how many times? The answer is 7, so we put 7 after our decimal. We multiply 7 times 4 and get 28, which we subtract from 30. That leaves us with a remainder of 2, which cannot be divided by 4. So again, we add another 0, bring it down, and we get 20. 4 goes into 20 a total of 5 times, so we write 5 up top next to our 7. 5 times 4 is 20, and that leaves us with a remainder of 0. So. 3 fourths is the same thing as 0 0.75 in decimal form. Example 2. Convert 5 twelfths into a decimal. First, we set our problem up just like the last one. 12 goes in the outside, 5 goes in the inside. We know 12 can't go into 5, so we add our decimals and our zeros up top. Then we add our first zero. 12 goes into 50 a total of 4 times, and 4 times 12 is 48. When we subtract 48 from 50, we get a remainder of 2. We then add another 0 and see that 12 goes into 20 one time. When we subtract 12 from 20, we get 8. Let's add another 0 and figure out how many times 12 will go into 80. 12 times 6 is 72, so let's put 6 up top and subtract 72 from 80 which leaves us with 8. You may notice that we have a remainder of 8, which was the same remainder we had the last step. That means this decimal amount is going to start repeating. And what I mean by that is that it will keep being 6 over and over again into infinity. So what we can do is stop at this 6, and we can draw a vaniculum over this 6, which means it will continue to repeat. Our answer is 0 0.416. Example 3. Convert 6 twentieths to a decimal. Again, let's put 20 on the outside, 6 on the inside. We know that 20 will not go into 6, so we drop a decimal here, and we add a 0. 20 will go into 60, and it goes an even number of times. We put 3 up top, and multiply 3 times 20, and we get 60. 60 minus 60 is 0, so we're done. The answer is 0 0.3. Last example, convert 3 fifteenths to a decimal. Same steps here. We put down our 15 and our 3 and add our decimals and first 0. We are now dividing 15 into 30, which we know goes 2 times. Our answer is 0 0.2. Hopefully that was easy to follow. If it was, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to check out my channel for more math help videos. Thanks again for watching.